Friday. It is Saturday afternoon, and we're going to tackle changing the brakes and rotors on my wife's 2017 Acura MDX. It also needs an oil change. So we're going to tackle the rotors and uh, attempt to get those turned. I called the dealer, and the dealer said that we can have those turned two or three times. So I'm going to take those in to get turned, but i got to take them off first, and uh, then we'll put new brakes on the front too. So let's get started. Okay. So what the deal is, is when you're coming down the freeway, coming off the off ramp and you apply your brakes, it kind of shudders, bounces a little bit, which is typically a bad rotor. So, look at the brakes while we're in here boy those brake pads are pretty thick so normally you change those at the same time but I'm gonna take a look at them and see the rotors look good there's no visible damage but you can tell they're warped when you put on the brakes so looks like to me the caliper has to come off and then well it looks like a screw right there right there and then that should be it so we'll take the caliper off and the brakes off and then that screw okay the first thing i'm doing is i'm using a screwdriver to compress that caliper now and I've got a lot of pressure on there so I can get the brakes back on pretty easy if I end up changing the brakes so I compress the caliper first get as much so I don't have to use a C clamp or anything I think they're all compressed and then I go ahead and take off these bolts holding the calipers on nice and tight <clears throat> and we don't want to damage that brake line <laughs> So we'll hook those in up in a second. Brake shot out of there. <laughs> that brake did with the clips. Let's see, how are those brakes looking? Those brakes don't look very bad at all. Car has 56,000 miles on it. So I might not replace those brakes. I'm gonna just keep using them and see how it works. Don't know if these are all ceramic or what pads, ceramic pads or or what. <clears throat> Look at the wear bar. So got a long ways to go for the wear bar. Before the wear bar starts making noise. Okay, wear bar goes on the inside. Help me remember that. We'll clean up all this junk. Okay, so looks like this bracket. Looks like this bracket needs to come off in order to take that rotor off. What size are those? Ooh, those are some beefy ones. Definitely not a 17. This one I have right now is a 17. <coughs> Let's see, I've got 19 possibly. Yep, 19. And 
19. I might get me a, I'm gonna get me a bigger ratchet for this one. This one. Use my foot since I'm too lazy to walk over and grab a breaker bar. No, I don't want to pound it. My wrist or my palm too bad. Okay. Okay, the bigger ones are for this bracket. Filming with my camera or my phone in one hand and using my right hand to do the bolt. So that's why the video is not super stable. Bracket should come right off. Okay, easy peasy. Alrighty, now let's see if we can set this back here so it doesn't fall down. Don't want it to fall down and pull on those brake lines. Okay, I think we've braced it in there sufficiently. Alrighty, so now leave just that one screw. I think the odds of that thing are gonna come out easy. Okay, I'm gonna beat on this. Okay, looks like the trick is to beat on that rotor a little bit. There's a screw. <clears throat> Now the rotor should come off. That thing's a beast. It's heavy. Okay. So I called around. AutoZone does not. Oops. So I called around. AutoZone does not turn rotors. But O'Reilly says they do, and Les Schwab's. Les Schwab tires say they do as well so i need i need some i need an oil filter too and i want to get a wix so i'm going to run them over to o'reilly's and see what they will do i'm going to put some anti-seize on the back of here so hopefully we don't forget to do that so it doesn't rust on but this rotor's off now we'll Put the jack sand underneath this side and move on to the next side. Okay, now I'm on the driver's side. I've removed the wheel. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Remove the caliper and then the caliper bracket and then the screw holding the rotor on and then pop them all off. I'm on the driver's side still. This one was quite a bit more stubborn than the passenger side to get this screw out. Had to beat on the rotor quite a bit more so to try to not to damage it because i'm trying to resurface these i just got a piece of wood and i blocked it up there use the old trusty sledgehammer and beat around and then beat on the inside you can see right here where i've been beating on it and then that screw comes out nicely but 
That's a pain. Not sure if I like that design or not. But this one should be off now as well. So I'll take it to the parts store and see if they'll turn them. Okay, why the rotors are at O'Reilly's being turned. I'm gonna change the oil. It's down to 5%. Life is what the computer says. Looks like I used the same 17 millimeter wrench that I have been using for the drain plug. Let's see if we can get some light on the situation. I've changed the oil before, so if it's tight, it's me. I'm gonna change this light a little. Move it over here. Okay, I broke it loose. Should be able to use my fingers now. Looks pretty clean still. It's a little dirty, but not, not too bad. I don't know how many miles we've gone. Just using the computer where it says the viscosity is getting lower. Okay, so while that drains, let's find the oil filter. I think it's up here somewhere. Okay, the oil filter is up in there. Let's see if I can get a better view of it. In there right next to the oil pan one thing that's interesting about the placement of this oil filter as you can see as I unscrew it the oil comes out and it comes right on this cross member or frame and just makes a mess so that's always fun. I usually wipe it off and then spray some brake cleaner up there to get the rest of it off, but that's a bad design. I don't know who thought that was good, but it leaves the oil everywhere. Everywhere. O'Reilly's just called it's been about 20 minutes is all and they said their rotors are all turned and ready for me to come get them but I think I'm gonna throw some oil in here real quick it takes five and a half quarts and this is what I've been using for the last year or two I've been using this shell Rotella 020 weight Bought off Amazon if I remember right and shipped a bunch in. But I've been using this in this Acura, my Toyota, and the Ford 150. I think it was I think it was Project Farm that I was watching that did all the reviews between this and did a comparison between this new gas truck Shell Rotella and the Mobile One oil. And this one actually beat Mobile One, which I used to use. So now I've switched over here. Don't know if it makes a difference. But I'm gonna throw five and a half quarts in and uh, then go get those rotors. So it'll take all this and then some more. <clears throat> we'll start her up and check the dipstick and make sure that that's correct once that drains down in. We just picked up the rotors from O'Reilly and they look shiny and new. Try to get some light on there. So I'm just going to throw them on, put the brakes, or clean up everything, put them back together on this uh, driver's side anyway. And then we'll go from there. The thing I'm doing differently than what was their stock is I put a thin layer of anti-seize on this. So theoretically the rotor 
shouldn't rust to it again and be so hard to get off but just want to point that out okay this is the passenger side just put on the rotor now tightening the screw as tight as I could okay now I'll put we'll put the brake caliper and bracket on and clean everything with brake cleaner I'm also putting lube and clean them off with a wire brush as I put these on there so it's good and clean okay the passenger side is now done rotors are turned everything's cleaned up brakes are back on now I just need to clean up my mess and take it for a drive so we'll do that next okay before we take it for a drive I better reset the oil so I think I know how to do it so hit the key a couple times brings this deal up so I'm gonna try to go into maintenance door open so I gotta shut my door you can see it's down to 5% vehicle settings I think that's it go in there <clears throat> Maintenance info, maintenance reset, reset, reset complete. Okay, I think that did it. So now I'll start it and take it for a drive. As soon as I pump up my brakes and get some brakes. Don't know how to exit. Life's at 100%. Okay, we're good. Pumping up my brakes to make sure we have brakes after doing all that. And now we can take it for a drive. Yeah, I just took it for a drive. It's as smooth as silk. Turning those rotors made a huge difference. So, rotors turned and, and replaced and oil changed. So, I think we're good to go. We'll call that a complete job today. Thanks for watching.